if you really uh, know Donald Trump's uh, history, at Mar-a-Lago, when he opened up the club down there, he admitted Jews and blacks for the first time. And I understand also has an openly gay couple as members in his club. That doesn't sound like what a racist is, is all about. So I think a lot of this is politically inspired uh, for the people who don't like Donald Trump to uh, make him look bad. In fact, I was really shocked that uh, Fox News had a little clip and it told what uh, uh, the two Bush presidents uh, had said, how racism is not a part of America and condemned it. But they said it, it was in relationship to Trump's statement. Well, it, anybody is against, we're all against uh, the racism and, and what was represented there. But uh, they, they, by putting it up there, implied that they were condemning Trump, I think. And uh, if you look at the history of our country, remember the Democrats were the one who spawned the Ku Klux Klan. Remember Senator Byrd, one of the Klan members served in Senate? And uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, when he dedicated the statue of uh, uh, General uh, Robert E. Lee, uh, just applauded him as a great gentleman, a great leader of men, and then went on to say he's one of the great Christian uh, Americans in our history. Now, should we start taking down uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt's statue? It's, well, uh, it's sad. Go ahead. Yeah. I think the, the question uh, for a lot of CEOs is, is this, this past week was what, what their responsibility, moral duty was uh, in regards to the comments that the president made. And I'm not going to dispute what you said to suggest clearly the president condemned those words, but then uh, he both doubled down on what some people thought was an equivalency uh, between well, uh, not uh, uh, people promoting uh, Nazis and white supremacists uh, and those that were promoting uh, the, the sort of anti-fascism and that those yeah, are well, not the same well, things. And, and that well, that's well, why so, ma so many people have come forward uh, on, on this yeah. issue. And that he's been slow, not just this week, but has a history and a pattern of being slow to, to defend, uh, to defend that, that position. Well, I, I, th I think that's uh, pretty ridiculous. Uh, you know, what does serving on the Manufacturing Council have to do with what happened in Charlottesville? And I, I think of all the 10, 15, 20 guys, International Paper, Michael Dell, uh, Newell, Newell Corp, all the people that stayed on and said, look, we, uh, we're here to prevent, well, help jobs, not to make political statements. And, and why did people say that his statements were, were racist or, or, or endorsing? Uh, in fact, Graham, Senator Graham said yeah, was, he's contrasting the, the Nazis compared to Heather Hare, who is killed. Now, he never said anything like that. In fact, what he said was that, that both sides have some responsibility for this. Have you ever gone to a prize fight where there's only one fighter in the rim? Have you ever been to one of those, Andrew? It doesn't happen. Hey, Foster, so you, how saw, you saw people carrying torches there. You saw some people who had Nazi flags there. You saw some people who were weaponized, highly weaponized, walking into this. I, I, I mean, I, I think any time a president doesn't stand up and unequivocally shoot that down, you are obviously opening yourself up to criticism from people who say, wait a second, why aren't you saying this more quickly? He was very quick to, to criticize Frazier, who stepped down from the post, immediately lashed out on Twitter. He was not quick to condemn some of the actions that we saw there. And that's very unusual for, for an American okay. president. I, I, I think it gives, it gives a great contrast to Obama. Uh, 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 Trump doesn't give the greatest speeches, let's face it. My, my success came because I harnessed people's strengths and kind of ignored their weaknesses. And Donald Trump is going to improve on his speeches. But that speech maybe wasn't a great speech. You contrast Obama, he gave the greatest speeches in the world. But what did he do? It, uh, you know, drawing a red line in Syria, whereas uh, uh, Trump puts 29 Tomahawk missiles down uh, the Syrians' uh, aircraft. Uh, and so if you look what Donald Trump said, and I'm really grateful that Susan Bro, who was the mother, thanked Donald Trump for standing up and saying, this is ridiculous. This is uh, the, the, the fact. Uh, she said that, thank goodness, he, he spoke out against the, the Nazium. Does but, anyone but, really think that Donald Trump is, is pro-Nazi and pro-white? Like, come on. But Foster, what? Don't, Foster, he talked about the people on the other side of this as being good people. Um, when you see a Nazi flag and torches, uh, don't you think that the, 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 the correct response is to run the other direction? Well, that's, that's the media's approach, but I is think that not your, That wouldn't be your approach? My, my approach 
is basically, look, I told you when I was, when I was a kid, I went to the seven motels in my town and asked them, why aren't you accepting Jews and blacks? When I was my fraternity president, I got the first Jew in our fraternity. So don't give me any grief about what that might be, my point of view. I've been fighting this fight for a long time to bring equality and decency and to realize the American dream right. that we're all in this together. So let's but what Donald, what Donald Trump said was right. that there are probably some people. Now, if you had a rally, so we're going to try to protect the, the, the uh, statue of Robert E. Lee, there's a lot of people who probably showed up and said, hey, I'd like to protect that statue, had no idea who the sponsors were. I can imagine that there were maybe some good people there. You don't know that. You don't know if there's good people there. And now Heather Hare on the other side definitely was a good person. But yet, what about that whole group that confronted the, the, the uh, Nazi group? Did you see any uh, battle, any, any black mask and black suits and baseball bats? I think, well, Donald Trump, why Donald Trump gained so much uh, uh, stature with those of us out here in the colonies is the media who part of the, uh, the kingdom of D.C., they, they take things completely out of, uh, of context. And mm -hmm. he, obviously, you can't have violence without having two groups. Now, Heather Heyer was a peaceful right. demonstrator. She was one of the good people there. They were probably good people on both sides, but well, let's go find out who they are. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.